Hello and welcome to episode one of Workshop Waffle. Um, this is a new format I'm trying out, so hopefully it works out okay. Man, what a difference a couple of weeks makes. I've gone from having chilies on the windowsill to drying out herbs, right? Kind of that um, life, death, summer, winter cycle. The bikes are in really good shape at the moment. Both are serving me um, really well. Probably haven't seen the GT for a while, but you know, I'm still in heavy use, I assure you. I'm planning on rebuilding the wheels this winter, so I've got this cigar box sort of getting ready with all the necessary wheel building goodies. Um, so we've got tubeless tape, tubeless valves, grease for the nipples, linseed oil, um, just to dip all the spokes in or new spokes in, should I say, that I might put in. Um, and obviously a nipple wrench done all right so that's sort of one and um, this is my tax wheel building stand i mean it's no part tool wheel building stand uh, but it gets the job done so i was recently in a diy store and they had this knife on offer so i picked it up and no matter how small you think the blade's gonna be, when I take it out, I promise you, uh, it'll look smaller. Look perfect for sort of mushrooming. Um, you know, there's times you're sort of toasting marshmallows over a fire, perfect for sort of getting the barks off the sticks and all that good stuff. Um, it's a little bit dirty, because so far the only thing I've used it for is to sharpen my um, carpenter's pencil. Uh, but there you go. So this year I'm on a mission to use less fire lighter and with this knife hanging in the same place in the garage right next to the fire lighters, um, hopefully it'll help making that goal as easy as possible. Having that always sharp, hardly used knife to cut nice little chunks off. Um, so how I tend to roll with my fires now and I've got it almost down to a fine art. I keep all of the little shavings that come off whenever I'm cutting wood. And then um, obviously I've got these big logs outside, they go on the bottom of the fire. I actually have a mixture of hard and soft wood, so I can kind of start a fire with soft woods and then move on to hard woods. So on top of the main logs, I'll have a couple of sort of half logs that I'll just chop in half, quite literally, as and when I need them. Um, and then what I will have is kind of smaller, sort of this size stuff. Uh, then on top I'll use sort of something around this size. Um, and then finally I'll put those sort of matchstick style droppings on top um, so I can get away with using as little fire lighters as possible. And um, they call it an upside down fire because it burns from the top down. Um, and that's kind of um, what I go for, go it down to a fine art. I've only had a real wood fire for a few years, so it's been a bit of a learning curve, especially when it comes to, you know, how and where to dry the wood, etc. Um, you can see I've got a nice um, drying rack, uh, which looks good and also is functional, so um, that's great. And the only thing left to do here is to get um, a couple of decent wood axes. The ones I've got are kind of the cheaper composite ones with the soft axe heads. Um, in other news, um, look, English painting, don't copy this, look, I built myself <laughs> oh, God, I just wanted to show you this because I slipped, I was freehanding to start with, I slipped, I was using a circular saw, it was quite dangerous, please uh, do not try this at home. And there's probably like a very thin sliver of wood that this um, sledge is hanging on, um, so I just wanted to show you, but um, English painting, don't copy it. Um, actually just, just don't make it the way I did because it's super dangerous. And then finally what we have is um, this bleed clip which was five quid from some Chinese website, um, AliExpress I got it from, five dollars, that includes delivery. Um, I can, so it comes with kind of two syringes, lots of different bleed nipples. Um, quality wise I will put it side by side next to a Shimano so that is the official Shimano one the light colored one the yellow one is the five dollar one there is clearly a quality difference yeah I'm not even denying it the Shimano one is of a higher quality um, but you know for five dollars it has um, lots of different sort of connectors in there it also comes with a couple of different bleed blocks I'll show you in a minute and you just can't go wrong for $5, um, as long as you're gentle with it and you take your time, 
um, it will bleed your hydraulic brakes. And you get to these syringes for, for five dollars, all of these connectors and the bleed blocks. So yeah, um, there you go. Okay, and that concludes Workshop Waffle Volume 1 and um, Bike Maintenance and Other Man Shit. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. If you've got any help, advice, life experience in the subjects we've covered today, please do drop a note down in the comments below. Unless it's around health and safety and, you know, circular saws because it turns out I live dangerously. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time.